Alright friends, today's question is what is the difference between training data set and test data set? So this is a very generic question and it can be asked in an interview or even like in a day to day life you understand and the difference between training and test data set. So in uh, machine learning we have like supervised machine learning or unsupervised machine learning or reinforcement machine learning. Generally in supervised machine learning, we use training and test data set. In so unsupervised, we normally have like, you know, training data set, right? Whereas in uh, supervised, we know like what kind of uh, results we are expecting. And based on that, we can have training and test data set. So what we do is that initially we have a large data set and we divide that into two, two parts and they can be equal or they can be a different kind of uh, like, you know, distributions. And one part is training data set, another is test data set. So the purpose of training data set is to discover the predictive relationship by using the model. So if we have a model and we want to train the model, so basically while training the model, we are actually creating the model. So we are setting all those hyperparameters, finding the right kind of a model with the right tuning of the hyperparameters that this is the one that can serve our purpose, right? So with training data set, the model starts learning the behavior of data and tweaks itself. And this model is now built on the data it discovers in the training data set. So in, like whatever relationship it found in the training data set, based on that, the model was built. Once model is built, we have to use the test data to check what is the accuracy of our hypothesis, how good the model is working. So now model has not seen the test data set during the training phase it should give us impartial results it should not be biased because like if we are using training data set that is the one we use to create the model and if we use same data for testing it it will not be good because it has already seen it now test data set my model has not seen it so using that we can see the accuracy therefore it's very important that we keep test data set separate from the training data set so that's a very important point uh, while a model preparation and model testing that keep the test and training data set separate. Then comes like another way where we actually divide it into three parts, training set, validation set, and test set also. In this case, we train it and then we validate using the validation set. And then finally we start testing it. So this is the process like we have original data set, then we divide it into training set and test set. And then from training set, we can do two parts, training set and validation set. And we have like K4 cross validation kind of a thing. There are different techniques by which we can use the validation of our data set. And finally, once everything has done, tuning has been happening, then we come to machine learning algorithm that can serve our purpose. So sometimes the model gets the problem of overfitting. Then uh, the reason being that training and test data set have been mixed up. So that again, we have to see that our test data set is always different and the model does not memorize the training data set. If it memorizes, then we will get the overfitting problem. So make sure that training and test data set always remains separate. An important point is that these two data sets can be different in size, but uh, they can actually provide very good uh, tuning of our model. All right, that's all uh, on this question. And if you have any other question, do let us know and we'll be happy to answer it for you. Thank you and have a great day.